great uh, so uh, yeah uh, let's start uh, my name is uh, Alexander I'm software developer uh, I work uh, mostly in, with Python and uh, all ecosystem relates to this uh, also CICD it's uh, currently it's my ma main project yeah uh, so uh, the main idea for this uh, uh, demo is to share uh, best practices, yeah, and uh, uh, show tools uh, that help you uh, follow dry uh, principle uh, in CI/CD. Uh, so uh, uh, the topic uh, dry principle uh, in CI/CD uh, with uh, Bitbucket pipelines, Bitbucket pipes, and Python. Uh, let's go. Yeah, as you know. Uh, Dry, uh, it's a uh, 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 don't repeat yourself principle. So uh, as usual, uh, you follow this uh, principle to uh, have one uh, source of truth uh, to avoid code duplication. And uh, that's uh, allow you uh, easily uh, uh, refactoring uh, then uh, easily you could uh, easily maintain uh, your code and uh, uh, when uh, code base grow up, uh, you just uh, uh, could refactor your code easily. So uh, uh, dry principle uh, relate to software development. Yeah, and uh, uh, what we have uh, in, uh, in the software development for that. Uh, so we had we have functions, we have classes, we have modules, packages that allow us uh, organize uh, our code uh, uh, well and uh, uh, make it easy to understand and maintain. But uh, what about uh, dry principle in CI/CD? Yeah, uh, uh, CI/CD it's uh, continuous integration or continuous delivery. Uh, as well, and uh, uh, each developer, yeah, uh, time to time, uh, want to automate uh, their stuff, and uh, uh, it's a best practice. And nowadays, it's a uh, uh, cool feature and common feature on each project. So uh, let's uh, let's uh, uh, take a look uh, uh, into CI/CD. Uh, that provided uh, by uh, Bitbucket pipelines. As you know, uh, you uh, could store your source code in Bitbucket and Bitbucket pipelines uh, allow you to automate your CI CD and automate your uh, routines. Yeah, uh, at, let's, uh, at first, uh, let's set up uh, our uh, demo Bitbucket pipelines. Uh, all that you need, uh, you should uh, turn on your Bitbucket pipelines in your repository settings uh, and uh, should provide a, a file, a YAM file, uh, with uh, the predefined uh, uh, name Bitbucket pipelines.yam. Uh, here you should uh, add uh, image. Uh, uh, by default, uh, it's uh, at less than default image uh, uh, second. Uh, so batteries included, uh, needed packages uh, also provided. Uh, you could uh, investigate it on the Docker Hub. It's uh, open source. And uh, yeah, uh, you could uh, uh, see all dependencies uh, that included. So uh, Bitbucket pipelines file configuration uh, has uh, uh, keywords. Uh, it is uh, pipelines at first. Uh, then we have a section. Uh, this uh, here I provide uh, default section with one step uh, and uh, uh, script uh, line. Yeah, uh, script is uh, general bash uh, uh, command. So you could use anything that you want. Uh, so uh, here it's a simple script, just uh, echo hello setup CICD. Let's go add more logic. Uh, some we we here we uh, add uh, uh, second step uh, and second step uh, 
with another uh, simple command echo te test logic here. Yeah, we have setup logic and test logic. Uh, let's uh, add some more uh, features. Uh, we could add uh, uh, branches uh, section and uh, uh, each uh, each push uh, to your repository will trigger a uh, default step. But uh, when push relates to master, uh, you, uh, these uh, Bitbucket pipelines will trigger uh, this part of your pipelines. Yeah, and but uh, as we can see, we uh, use the same logic like setup logic for any push uh, into repository. But uh, also we want the same logic uh, uh, for master branch. But uh, oh my God, what what to do? We have uh, code duplica uh, code duplication, and uh, uh, we want to follow drive principle. Uh, so don't worry, and uh, use uh, yum anchors. Uh, so yum anchors, uh, it's uh, like uh, a function in software development. Uh, so we could uh, provide uh, all logic uh, here. And then just pass the uh, name of that uh, uh, anchor and uh, this logic will be available for default uh, section and uh, for branch master section. Uh, great. Uh, uh, this, uh, the additional optional option uh, you can use, uh, it's uh, use right uh, Docker image uh, instead of uh, installing new package. Uh, so, um, as you know, uh, Bitbucket pipelines it's, uh, uh, uses a Docker, and uh, uh, you could provide a needed environment with uh, uh, Docker uh, image relates to your uh, stuff. For example, uh, here we want uh, to do some uh, uh, workflow with uh, AWS S3. So, you, we just uh, pull image uh, Amazon uh, AWS CLI, provide it with uh, KWOT image, and then uh, uh, AWS CLI uh, available for us and for uh, this setup anchor, and we could use it uh, for setup uh, in the full section and branch, branch masters. Uh, okay, but uh, the next question, uh, what if the pipeline's logic is more complex? Uh, and uh, what if we have multiple re repositories and uh, want to share our uh, same logic uh, like uh, this uh, across uh, repositories? Uh, yeah, for that, uh, we have uh, Bitbucket pipelines feature. Uh, Bitbucket, uh, Bitbucket pipes feature uh, for Bitbucket pipelines, yeah. Bitbucket pipelines, uh, uh, it's uh, uh, our general workflow, uh, CI, CD. Uh, and Bitbucket pipes, uh, it's uh, uh, like plugins that allow you simplify integration. Uh, yeah, uh, here you could uh, you could see how it was before Bitbucket pipes, uh, and how uh, it look like now with pipes. Uh, your workflow uh, much more uh, logical, uh, much more simple, and uh, uh, you just provide a, a pipe name and uh, you provide uh, needed uh, variables uh, for that pipe, and that's all. Uh, yeah, let's uh, do refactoring and uh, use ready to go with bucket pipes uh, to deploy to AWS S3. So uh, we provide uh, keyword pipe and uh, provide pipe name. Uh, it's a Atlassian uh, slash AWS S3 deploy and version of the pipe and uh, provide uh, required variables uh, bucket name uh, to know uh, uh, where we should uh, 
uh, deploy our uh, local uh, Jir and uh, local stuff, yeah. So it's easily uh, under the hood, so this pipe will f uh, fetch uh, credentials uh, for uh, required by uh, AWS. Uh, you just uh, need to provide it uh, in your repository settings. So uh, what pros of uh, Bitbucket pipes? Uh, it's a, at first, it's a Docker container, uh, just a simple Docker container. And uh, all uh, pros related to Docker container uh, available for you. Uh, you could use any uh, uh, images. You could use uh, provide uh, modify logic, uh, etc. Yeah, uh, Bitbucket pipes are ready to use. Uh, they are plug and play. You just uh, pass. Uh, you just provide uh, uh, Bitbucket pipes name and uh, pass required parameters. Uh, you should not uh, understand what uh, payload should it be, uh, what uh, data structure required for services you want to integrate. Uh, you just pass, uh, uh, you just pass uh, uh, credentials and parameters as well. Uh, also, Bitbucket pipes uh, support different cloud providers such as uh, common, uh, common uh, used uh, AWS, uh, GCP, Azure, and et cetera. You could integrate, uh, for example, with uh, Slack, uh, with uh, email providers uh, uh, from your uh, pipelines. Uh, also Bitbucket pipes uh, under the hood, multi-platform and multi-language. Because it's a Docker, just Docker container, you could execute any script uh, that you want on any language or platform. Uh, just choose your own tool. Uh, Bitbucket pipes open source, uh, so welcome uh, your contribution. Uh, you could uh, uh, create pull request uh, to the uh, Bitbucket pipes source code and. Uh, uh, improve uh, functionality or uh, contribute your features uh, any uh, any you want. Uh, Bitbucket pipes well documented. Uh, it's uh, in the readme. Uh, it has uh, description, examples, and links to do to the doc. Uh, also, when you set up uh, pipelines, uh, it uh, has uh, uh, it provides templates. Uh, for different uh, cases. Uh, so you could just click uh, on the template and uh, you will have a uh, uh, common, common case uh, and uh, ready to go uh, set up. Uh, Bitbucket pipes support by uh, Atlassian communities. So when you stuck on some uh, uh, moments, some point, uh, you, ju you just ask a question. Uh, you could share your ideas or you could uh, provide your suggestions. Uh, it has uh, also, it has good integration with uh, Bitbucket uh, pipelines. Uh, uh, for, for example, for tracing, yeah, uh, pipes, uh, uh, some pipes include uh, default labels uh, or uh, tags that uh, has uh, build number, uh, step number, uh, repository, uh, uh, Slack, and etc. So you could uh, understand uh, what uh, build uh, uh, provide this uh, change and uh, trace uh, all uh, workflow. Uh, and uh, of course, uh, if you uh, can find exact pipe for your pipeline in uh, Marketplace, uh, Bitbucket Pipes Marketplace. Yes, so you uh, could write your own pipe. So let's go and uh, create a custom pipe. How to do that? Yeah, uh, at first you should create a repository with uh, next uh, directory structure. Uh, you should have uh, Bitbucket pipelines.yam, it's a CI CD configuration. Uh, you should uh, turn on, of course, uh, Bitbucket pipelines in the settings. Then you should provide a Docker file 
um, because pipe run runs inside the Docker container. Uh, then you provide main logic uh, with uh, pipe.py uh, script to automate your stuff and uh, requirements to .txt uh, and general Python dependencies uh, for the pipe. Uh, great. Uh, uh, for our file uh, pipe.py, uh, you, you should include the next uh, uh, content, uh, the next code. Yeah, uh, your code uh, import uh, pipe class uh, from Bitbucket Pipes Toolkit. Uh, that uh, uh, Bitbucket Pipes team provides uh, for you. Uh, uh, also, uh, you could uh, provide variables. Uh, uh, for this pipe, for, for these simple pipes, it will it should be uh, name and debug. So name uh, required parameter, uh, debug optional. So you could uh, build logic to debug uh, or show some extra information when debug uh, not true. Uh, then uh, you just uh, create a pipe, instantiate a pipe class with schema and variables uh, then uh, uh, you should get uh, name from uh, name uh, variable uh, required for this pipe uh, from environment and uh, pipe uh, instance uh, has uh, that method uh, then log information uh, just show users that pipe started to execute then uh, a log uh, main logic yeah here, hello and name uh, and uh, of course uh, when pipes are successfully finished you just uh, provide success method and uh, uh, say some message like success so uh, in your build you will have uh, uh, finished pipes if if all okay yeah uh, for requirements txt uh, you should provide uh, in this implementation you should provide bitbucket pipes toolkit dependency uh, it's also open sourced uh, and uh, subversion uh, it's a uh, package used for uh, versioning uh, it uh, provide major minor pass uh, uh, versions so you could easily uh, uh, versioning add version semantic version in uh, to your uh, pipe uh, for docker container it's a common uh, case uh, we use uh, python uh, image uh, we copy uh, uh, needed uh, dependencies for that uh, main logic and uh, requirements uh, we install uh, it and uh, provide entry point to start our script. And uh, locally, we could uh, build uh, Docker image uh, for with our custom pipe and then uh, check it. So as general uh, Docker. And uh, manually, uh, yeah, to share it, we, we could manually uh, uh, push it to Docker Hub account good uh, uh, but uh, it's it, it's uh, manual uh, stuff so uh, every developer developer wants uh, to automate it let's automate the uh, release log flow for your custom pipe and avoid manual steps so for that uh, uh, you you need uh, uh, you should add versioning uh, to your pipe uh, with uh, some version uh, you just uh, type uh, command some version and change uh, for example type minor or major or patch uh, and description name it's a message for for your users so and of course uh, for you to log uh, changes uh, and uh, have good uh, description so uh, Subversion will uh, generate uh, next release uh, and uh, files and uh, this this uh, uh, artifacts will be used uh, by uh, 
Bitbucket pipes release uh, pipe uh, for versioning and tagging uh, for your um, pipe. Yeah, also uh, we should, uh, let's improve uh, uh, your custom pipes repository structure and uh, add uh, uh, pipes metadata, uh, more details uh, uh, provided by the guide. So you could click uh, uh, on the link and uh, dive deep into metadata, but uh, generally uh, this just yum file with pipe name, version name, uh, and uh, yeah, with some information relates to to pipe. And uh, README uh, as a best practice, uh, better to have a README than not to have. Yep. Uh, in the README, you could provide some details about how to uh, uh, run your pipes, what uh, default variables, etc. Great. Uh, to uh, finish automation, uh, to automate release process uh, uh, for your pipe to uh, Docker Hub, uh, with Bitbucket pipelines, uh, you should provide uh, the next code uh, inside a Bitbucket pipelines.yam file. Uh, it should be uh, image uh, and uh, our default structure with cables pipelines. Uh, for this uh, example, uh, we provide all uh, in default section. So uh, each uh, each pull uh, each push uh, to your repository will uh, do this stuff uh, push and tag. Uh, okay, uh, you can see that uh, here provided uh, uh, pipe keyword uh, and name for uh, Bitbucket pipe release version uh, also. Uh, this uh, Bitbucket pipe release pipe uh, 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 required uh, Docker uh, Hub uh, username, Docker Hub password, uh, and uh, image name. Uh, all other stuff relates to uh, version, relates to uh, workflow uh, under the hood, and. Uh, uh, if you provide uh, all uh, needed uh, variables, uh, this pipe will uh, uh, take uh, your Docker image, uh, uh, push it to uh, Docker Hub, uh, and then commit back to your repository with uh, tag uh, provided uh, by some versioner. Yeah, uh, here. And uh, also create a uh, change log, uh, so you will have a uh, change, change history. Okay, and uh, after that, uh, when uh, this pipeline finished, that, uh, when uh, this build finished, uh, you could uh, share your uh, pipe uh, across uh, multiple repositories. Uh, you could share it with your friends just like a uh, Docker image and uh, run uh, this uh, uh, Docker image uh, in your uh, repository, in your pipelines. So you should provide a uh, pipe uh, keyword uh, and uh, then uh, some magic uh, keyword Docker uh, and uh, uh, your Docker Hub account and uh, pipe name and version. So also here you can see that uh, required variable uh, also provided. So pipe, pipe uh, will execute your code uh, and automate your uh, stuff. Yeah, uh, great. Uh, that's all. Uh, it's uh, uh, simple. Uh, it's uh, not so hard. Uh, at first look, uh, all uh, needed uh, automatization uh, provided uh, and uh, uh, Bitbucket Pipes team uh, and Bitbucket Pipelines team provided uh, great uh, tools uh, for you. So useful links also uh, here. Uh, you could uh, follow it and uh, you have um, link to integration marketplace you could link you have links to uh, 
deployment guides uh, uh, to the blog posts so 12 days of CICD it's a great uh, series of blog posts uh, uh, this activity uh, relates to CICD so you could follow uh, this link and uh, get a lot of information about how to uh, and uh, about uh, Bitbucket pipe pipelines and Bitbucket pipes ecosystem. Uh, also links to the open source repositories uh, and of course community and uh, you could vote for issues or create new suggestions request on Jira. So uh, if you need some features, uh, you could uh, vote for that. Uh, great. Uh, yeah, that 